Hi everyone, welcome in my bow challenge. So in this challenge, we are going to have a side bow position. In the side bow, we will also raise one leg up toward the sky. For this posture, you will need to have a lot of flexibility in your shoulders, in your upper body, in your lower body. The flexibility you need it always for the back bend in the quadriceps, hip flexors also. But in this case, you need also adductor, inner thigh stretch and hamstring stretch. So it's a really advanced movement. Don't attempt this posture as a beginner. For intermediates and for advanced, uh, it's a good posture to go with and to take two loop. Let's go for it. It's only 25 minutes and please subscribe and like my channel. Let's go. Place the hands down and roll down toward your sis bones and just start grounding your breathing deep breath. Bring it toward your abdomen and toward your chest. And set up the intention of this practice. Maybe simply that you are going to be present together with your breath, not competing with yourself and neither with anyone else. Inhale, lift your head up, open the chest. Exhale, back down. One more time, lift the chest up. And in this case, start rolling forward. Sink a little bit with the pelvis, open the chest. Exhale as you round, roll toward your heels. Two more time. Inhale, open the chest, roll forward, sink down softly. Exhale, round your back and lower to your sit bones. Roll out again with the inhale, lower the pelvis and then gently move, look back toward your feet. Exhale, roll down, lengthen away, you reach, look toward your feet. Exhale, back to the center and just mobilize softly, wake up your body. Back to the center, last time. And then back down, round your back and exhale, lower toward your sit bones. Roll out to the right side with a half circle, inhale. Exhale as you roll back. To the left side, inhale. Exhale as you are rolling back. Two more time, roll out. Exhale back down. And for the last, out to the side. And exhale, roll back down. Lift the pelvis and roll out with the hands. Drop your chest down to the mat. Deep breathing. On a hotter asana, it's stretching your shoulders and your chest. And then lift the chest up and walk back toward your all four. Great. Let's just stretch a bit the shoulder, reach back with the left, make a half circle and lower down. Two more times, reach back, half circle, lower down. Last one, stretch away with the inhale, exhale, lower. Keep your ujjayi breathing, inhale as you reach. Exhale, lower. Two more time. Exhale, lower. And for the last. And exhale, bring it back down. Come to your all four, roll out to your plank. And with the exhale, softly place down your feet. 
to reach away and then walk back toward your feet. Roll down a bit. Let's warm those hamstrings. Inhale, look up, lengthen, take your big toes. Exhale, drop your chest down. Take two deep breaths here, let your head sink and bring the pelvis in line. Knee, ankle and pelvis in line. And then inhale, open the chest, look up. Exhale, walk out again. Engage the core and we go for Chaturanga. Inhale for upward dog. Exhale for downward dog. Step front with your right leg. It's a long lunge. And now we start hamstring stretching. Lengthen the hamstring and then bend it in. Two more times. You need it because like I said, you will have a leg extended up. It's a really tricky posture. One more time. Lengthen out. Maybe lower the chest. Inhale, lift the head up. And exhale, drop the left knee. If you need something underneath the left knee, go for it. Otherwise, just bring it in to where this is bones. Open the chest and give the stretch for your quadriceps. Three deep breath. One more breath. And release. Great. Lengthen now your right hand up. So the same side. Right leg front, right arm up. And open the chest for a tricep stretch. Lift the heart up to the sky. Two deep breath here. And exhale, stack the spine up. Release your hands and bring this right leg out to the side. Stretch to the side, slide your hand down in your leg. Inhale up to the sky. Exhale, stretch away from your leg, side stretch. And now lift the leg up, bring it toward your sit bone. And then you kick the leg away. Open your chest. Feel a gentle back bend happening already. And then lower it back down. Great. Send the heart up, open the chest. And with the exhale, just drop down to a camel pose. And from here to a seated virasana. And have a little grounded time here, collecting your attention and your breath. One more breath. And then exhale, roll out, engage the core. Chaturanga, upward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Step front with your left leg. Ground your fingers. And with the exhale, stretch the left knee. Inhale, bend it. Two more times. Softly. Hamstring stretch. One more time. And stretch it out. Lift the chest up, open. Exhale, lower even deeper. And then lower down your back knee. Great. Come up and bring this back leg to where your sits bone. Opening your chest. Deep breathing. So if you feel tension on the knee, place something underneath your knee. Otherwise, 
actually it should not be on your knee. It should be a little bit more forward the stretch. And then lower the leg back down. So now left leg front and left hand is stretching to the sky. Join the hands in line. Take a deep breath and lift the heart up. Open the chest. One more breath. And then stuck the spine up. Lengthen and release. Now I turn backward. So I am sideways. My pelvis is in line with the leg and my left hand is sliding down in my left leg. Stretch. Inhale up to the sky and then drop down your right hand and bring the left leg in. Deep breathing. One more breath and then kick away the leg. So you push the chest forward and the stretch goes not just the hip flexor, but it's already a mild back bend. And then place the knee back down. Great. Hands in front of the heart, open the chest, lower down just to a simple Ustrasana. Exhale, Virasana. And then you will roll out to your hands. Great. Inhale, look up, lengthen, open the chest. Exhale as you roll down. Two more time. Inhale, look up, open the chest. Exhale, roll down. For the third time, start lowering your hands. Still open the chest. Exhale, down. And now, take both loop and place them to your feet. We will do the exercise with the loop. Just like in my previous video, we do this drill because it's amazing. Lengthen the hands up, open the chest, start extending your triceps and have a few deep breaths here. One more breath. And then exhale, release. Start lowering your hands. Open the chest. And exhale, release. Lower down. Now, without taking off the loops, open the chest, start coming up, lengthen. I know it's bizarre, but you can lift the legs up like this with the loops. Exhale, lower down. Do it two more times. So this is the Bhujangasana, and it's great for transforming it. Inhale, open. And exhale, lower down. Nice. So now as we come up, we will do a mild change grip. Open the chest. Let's just lengthen out the left leg. Start going back. And your right hand is going to take this loop, opening one shoulder. Good. And then go with the other leg as well and lower down. Great. Now, we will simply do the other side. Inhale, open the chest. Lengthen. 
plank then up. And then exhale, lower it back down. Great. So <clears throat> we will need to turn to the Dhanurasana. Take the loops, bring your legs up, and roll the shoulders open. Now, as you exhale, turn yourself to the side and you will lengthen up the leg up to the sky. So if it's easy for you, then you don't need the loop. Then you can try to turn here, just like changing the grip. Turn to the side and raise the leg up to the sky. One more breath here. And then bring back the leg. Turn back to the center and change your grip. So this is going to happen also to the other side. I need to change the microphone. Yes. <clears throat> and I maybe change so then you see me better from here. So either you are with the loop either without. And then you bring the leg up, open the leg up to the sky and stay a few deep breaths here. And then exhale. Lower back down and release. Great. Now just lift your pelvis, lift your chest, and roll down toward your heels. Release, sigh out. And just flip over. Great. Just bring your legs in like a Baddha Konasana and reach the top of the head toward the sky. So you could see that in this posture, also it's a challenge to figure out where you are in the space. So sometimes you're just not sure how, how high we extended the leg up, but that's, that's okay, it's normal. And it can be a different between the two sides. Roll the shoulders back. And with the exhale, just round your back. Roll forward, just give a little space for yourself in the spine. Inhale, open the chest. And then exhale, roll back up. Just lengthen. Cross the right leg over the left. Go for a mild spinal twist. Back to the center. Other side. Nothing aggressive. And back to the center. Raise the hands up toward the sky. We'll have a few deep breaths here. And then lower down to the Dandasana. And release. Come back to the center. Place the hands around the knee. And then exhale, roll back toward the sit bones. Inhale, open the chest. Two more time. Exhale, roll back around. Inhale, open the chest. One more time. Exhale, 
Inhale, open the chest. Stretch with the left hand toward the right and then rotate. Inhale up, exhale, release. Inhale, right hand, exhale, stretch. Rotate. Inhale up and exhale, release. Great. Just gently roll the shoulders back. Reverse it. Great. Roll down, chain to chest, articulate your spine. And inhale, open your chest. Lift the heart up like a swan diving into the water. Exhale, roll. Inhale, lift your heart up. One more time. And release. Just return to your normal breath. Sigh out once deeply with open lips. Take a deep breath in. Thank you for joining me. I hope you are refreshed. After back bends, we are always more energized. Relax. So thanks a lot for joining me in this mini class. I feel like I need to jump through a lot of things what I would like to teach in this short class format. I hope you enjoy it and see you, see you soon in my next class. Please subscribe to the YouTube. If you liked it, like also the video. And if you would like to see more content like this, really organized, then check my Udemy or my Vimeo where I have a full backband CD. Thank you. Bye.